Okay, so we are we are live. So let me share my screen right now so that we can see the slide. So now, good evening, everyone. So now, you will be talking on how to contribute to open source using the power of JIT and GitHub. So, you may be wondering, like, what is open source? Or do you have any idea what open source is all about? Yeah. Oops. So anyone
so now like your contribution is all accepted so now according to this open source.com he said the term open source refers to something people can modify and share because its design is publicly accessible so and they also have like the term we originated in the context of software development to designate a specific approach to comp creating computer program today however open source designates a broader set of value what we call the open source way so open source software is software that's with open source code that anyone can inspect modify uh, and enhance so that's is that so now we'll be we'll be learning how we can also contribute to open source so this is a slide which i <coughs> used last year i created for an event a speaker engagement like that at one the river conference in canada yeah so now let's continue so you already know your facilitator my name is i don't know what's in lane front-end developer blah 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 that's who am i so now what is open source is it open source can we all see this is it open source that means to open source mm -hmm. <laughs> or is this open source initiative yeah so what we are talking about is open source not open source open source as in open studio blah 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 no we are talking of in software development so now according to wikipedia open source software is a type of computer software in which software soft source code is released under a license in which the copyright other grants user the right to study change and distribute the software to anyone and for any purpose so open source is is also a software which allow us to have access to the source code to contribute and to make changes to or to fit our need under the copyright yeah you feel me Do we get that? <laughs> okay, yeah, you get source. Don't worry. When we get inside the, you get source. So now let's continue. So now, now in order to for us to be able to contribute to open source, we need what we call, we need the understanding of what we call, Git and GitHub. So, I don't know anyone heard of this before do we have anyone can we have anyone that can tell us or what do you understand by JIT and GitHub? anyone what do you understand by JIT and GitHub? anyone or oh, we don't have idea Are we getting that? Can someone tell us what we understand by JIT and GitHub? Oh, we don't have any idea about it. Okay, no, no problem. Let's let's continue. So, what is JIT and GitHub? So, JIT is the code. Why GitHub is where the code live? Am I right? Let me come again. Git is the code. Why Git up is where the code lives. So, like for instance, let's let's use a very very real and simple scenario. Now, let's say we have let's say we have mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, 
I'm, I'm trying to think of a very real scenario we can use but the one that is coming to my mind right now is using rice you know when they harvest rice after getting the getting the grain from it you know first of all they store it in a barn but now in order for them to be able to market it for people to buy rice and eat rice and for different people to be able to access the rice they put it inside rice sack are we are we getting that so git is like the rice why git up is like that rice sack where we were able to send or we're able to sell the rice to different user am i right are we getting that So now let me continue. So, according to Wikipedia, Git is a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development. It is designed for co coordinating work among programmers, but it can also it can be used to track changes in any set of file. Its goals include speed, data integrity. And supports for distributed non-linear workflow. Let me come again on that. According to Wikipedia, Git is a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development. It is designed for coordinating work among programmers, but it can be used to track changes in any set of file. Its goals include speed data integrity and supports for distributed non-linear workflow that's what JIT is about why GitHub? GitHub provides hosting for software development version control using JIT GitHub provides hosting for software development version control using JIT now JIT is a version control system. Why GitHub is a base of hosting our code base online for easy collaboration and accessibility. Do we get that? Do we get that? So I said JIT is a version control system. Why GitHub is the base of hosting our code base online so now like when we when we started this class the first week i made us to download some software on our system which i share on the google link one is the git git bash so git bash is what we are going to be using in order to access to use JIT and in order for us to also deploy or push our code to JIT up. Are we getting that? So now I will share you my screen of what I'm what I call JIT bash. So JIT bash so that you know how it looks. I'm coming okay cool So if you can also my screen currently you see some kind of 
black stuff like that so this what i have here is my git bash if you guys download it the first week you will have something like this so this is git bash so git bash is what we use in order for us to access to access git up and to use git in order to add fashion control on our code and to push the code to git up so if you if you, if you go through this if you can see here yeah, is some file i'm working on and then like that like that so now in order for us to use JIT and JIT up, so this JIT, if you already have this installed, that is fine. So now the next step for you us to now to do is to create a JIT up account. I will show you what I mean by JIT up. So JIT up. So this is my GitHub account. It's because I'm already signed in. That's why it's showing like this. Let me sign now so that you see how it looks. So now this is GitHub. So now if you get to the home page, I you can access this just going to GitHub.com. It said GitHub built for developers. GitHub is a development platform inspired by the way you work from open source to business. You can host and review code, manage projects, and build software alongside 50 million developers. Are we getting that? So now, I will want also to go to that link. Let me share it in the chat. You should go to jitob.com to create an account. So when we create an account, we continue. So I'll be waiting for you. This is the home page. This is where to create an account. They have both for free and business enterprises and is used by 2.59 million businesses and organization like Airbnb, Zap, IBM, Google, Paper, Boombag, Softify, Facebook, Node.js, NASA, Walmart and different other people. They all use GitHub to monitor their code base and another features is we write code better because collaboration makes perfect and uh, another aspect of using GitHub, you're able to manage your child's like and you use the right tools now see it says see how the world leading use GitHub enterprise we have mg mgm nationwide insurance zap Softify. so can we all now head up to github.com and create an account if you have done so let me know in the chat session thank you so now since you have created account on Jitsu, so now let's continue with this line. So now, how to contribute to open source? So what does it mean? Contributing to open source is not hard. Just make sure the source is open and edible. <laughs> uh. So. Contributing to open source requires us to know an announcing the two called JIT and OB, which is JIT 
and having knowing the in and out of using the tools of using these tools will make it easy for us to contribute to any open source project so are we getting that so miss rukaya i said we should all go to github.com to create an account in order for us to able to deploy our code because i will show us this evening how to deploy our code using git and i think i told us earlier to download a software called git the first day of our class do you get that okay now this is how the software look like so this is it. this is how JIT look like JIT bash sorry so this is JIT bash JIT bash is a software that will allow us to use okay cool that's good then so now okay so have you able to have you deployed on JIT up before have you put your code on JIT up before Ms. Rukaya have you wow wow so you know how to use jit jit bash and jit am i right so do not use jit and jit bash okay 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 it's cool but you know it's 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 actually cool it's good to use the desktop but what about when when you get to where you place and everything they use there is terminal that means you have to go with what they are using and use the terminal and use JIT on terminal so that's why I I teach you how to use JIT bash because you you have the family you have the familiarity of using JIT on terminal. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, okay, that's too cool. That's crucial. That's cool. But you know, it, it, it's good to know what is happening in the JIT desktop. So that's why I advise to first of all go through JIT using the terminal. Then after you understand it, you cannot use JIT desktop. But it's actually fine too. It's fine. Well done on that. So for others that have not been able to, that don't know how to use JIT bash. So this is our JIT bash. And this is some file I open on it. So now, like I was saying, we should create an account on GitHub, and if I have done so, let's continue with with this. Okay, look, like I was saying, this Git GitHub is it's a use for developer. GitHub is a development platform inspired by the way you work from open source to business. You can host and review code, manage projects, and build software alongside 5 million developers so this is jit you create an account and when you create an account let me know so now because i've already created an account what i'll just do is to sign in by using this and i'll be in yeah yeah so that's it So, 
as you can see this as you can see this is my own github github account yeah so this is my own github account yours may not look like this or it may look more than this so this is my github account and this is my profile yeah this is my profile blah 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 like that yeah so now let's continue with the slides okay so now in order for us to contribute to open source i said contribute to open source is not as it's not all just make sure the source is open and edible are we getting that <laughs> So now let's continue. Now, so contribute to open source requires us to know and understand the tool called JIT and the OB. Having knowing the in and out of using this tool, we make it easier for us to contribute to any open source project or software. Now, which open source can I contribute to? Now, there are tons. Excuse me. There are tons of thousands of open source software you can contribute to this is just like a sample of it we have linux wordpress mongodb blender android drupal php ruby open source kick php we have open Marker, magneto gimp jit we have Magit, magento we have mysql we have python we have debian different open source software you can contribute to so you just what you need is just understanding this open source i'll be understanding software you want to contribute to and you contribute your quota what you want to do so now let's continue so now these are the useful git commands contribute we have git checkouts be your branch name git add git comments git push git remote git remote add upstream git fresh upstream git check master git merge upstream this may be looking very funny to you but i will explain it using a practical i will explain it practically and now are you ready to contribute to open source or use the open source you want to contribute to so now time to show us using the open source so now the projects that we have all been working on since this since the start of this class uh we put it on github so now uh, i will like you or i want you to follow along I, s I use the git bash to contribute so I'm sharing my screen right now I'm sharing my git bash so now I'm in my git bash so now for me to con in order for me to contribute to git in order for me to put my code on git on GitHub, the code that we have been working on first of all I go to the directory so in order for me to go to the directory on my git bash there is a command that we use which is called cd cd is to is short for change directory cd change directory but if you, before you do that make sure you check where you are working on like your currently working directory so in order for us to know our current working directory we use the command called p wd so pwd is to know the current working directory so when you press pwd you enter so now as you can see i'm working under the user there webstone projects and react blah 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 so now since i know where or let me show you where where the project file of this class is so that everything won't look like 
magic so now let me show you so now this is my windows and and as you can see this is my this is the folder we are using for the class so now that means the my projects folder is in Dell user Dell and in the webstorm projects folder and the name of the project folder is for wheels programming class and these are all the projects in it so that in order for me now to concept to put it or to go to this directory on my git bash first of all are we if you are not in the direction let's say for instance let me close my git bash and open it again i hope you can all see this can we all see this so now if you see this let me know if you can also this 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 terminal i'm using can we all see it okay cool now since so because i just open a terminal i want to know the directory i am so now i will press pwd so pw tell me that i'm in the user del directly now this is the folder i'm going to i can just come here and copy this i don't know if you can see this come here copy this and come here and do cd and paste it after i copy it I'll it's not even going there. Oh, it's not going there. Okay. Because of this backslash, it's not supposed to be this. It's supposed to be this type. So can you see that? So now that is the open easy way to do it if you don't know it. But like for my own case, let me let me close the git bash and I'll open it back. Since in my own case, I already know the git bash. I already know I already know like a little of how to use this bash how to use to change direction. First of all I check where is my present working direction. So now I know that what I'm looking for is project file called WebStorm. So now use C D and I use W because the project starts with WebStorm. So in order for me to now I like typing the word in is which take a long of a lot of time or instead of stressing myself i can just press tab so if i press tab tab will complete it for me and i'll just press enter so after tab has completed for me i press enter it will take me to this directory which is webstorm project now in order for me to now see the project folder i want to work on i'll use ls so ls is the command to list the file in the directory you are currently in so now if i press ls and i press enter so it will not tell me all the file in that current line so now currently in this webstorm project i have four which programming class i have acminus i have admin finder i have ft choir project i have different projects folder and since i'm coming to this four weeks and I, I will now use the cd again cd space i'm coming to four so instead of me typing the words i'll just spray four and press tab and I press enter so after press enter I say I'm in the project folder 
and to be able to show that everything is intact like the way i seen it on the window explorer i'll press ls so ls tell me that okay i have a folder called capstone project css html and javascript so now that everything is intact now we are good now so we now register this my project folder as a git git recognize repository there is this command called git init g i n i n i t so git init is what you use to init initialize git or local repository on your in, a, in your project folder so let me press git init and so he said initialize mc git repository in user blah 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 so now like as you can see before there's nothing like master in my front of the project folder now it's showing master so now in order for me now to add this i want to add everything you know it says empty git repository so in order for me now to add things inside this git repository and to take it online i'll use the command called git G -I -N -G -I -T, add so g a g git add is the command which i'll use to add all the folder no no it's used to add now in order for me to add is it a single file or the or the file now in order for me to add all the file i'll use period which is dots dots is used to add all the file why if it's only one project i want to add i'll just use the name of the project maybe let's say html so html folder is the only one that will be added but in our own case right now i want to add all the folder in this four week programming class so in order for me to do that i'll press git add period and i'll press enter so you can see something is going on like some people say okay like you can see like first saying the warning the lf will be replaced by accelerating in capstone project blah 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 like that so this is like changing the file line ending so now since you can see that is everything has been added so now in order for us to be sure that everything has been added we press git status so git status is to know what is what we have been working on it has not been added to local directory and ready to us commit it and push it to online so when i enter git status so git status ten, is telling us now that there is new file new file new file it's a new file it's a change to be committed so that means all these new file are to be committed so now in order for me to commit this project uh, there's a git command called git git commit so commit is to create like a kind of fashion of the of the project of what i'm working on on uh, everything i'm still working on right now is still on local which is on my system so it's to now create a local version of what i'm working on and now me using this dash m dash m is the message i want to add so now let's say the message i want to add to this git commit so that i'll be able to know what and what now in order for me to add the message i'll use quotes double quotes and the message will be inside it let's say the message i want to add is first initial commit to gto so after so sorry let me delete this so i use first initial commits to gto that is my commit message yeah commit message so if i press enter can you see it's a create mode so everything now has been added to this project version number which is f2c557ef 
now in order for me to now put all these code all these lines of code all this file on my github account now i'll go to github github.com when i have created your account so i will now click on the plus sign plus sign and i'll click on new repository so when i click click on new repository now i will not excuse me so i will now choose what i want to name the folder or the name of my repository since what i'm using on my local is four weeks programming class so let's see if it's available and luckily for us it's available now the description side is describing what the folder is all about i can say this is the file of the four weeks intensive programming class with GitHub. So now the next part is now do I want to make my code this is my repository do I want to make it public that public means anyone on the internet can see this so public means that anyone can see it anyone can commit to it that's what's called open source so it's public so if if i choose private that means i can only see it and i can also i can be the only one to choose who will see it so now because this project is for everyone anyone can contribute i'll leave it as public so now the next one is inside init initialize this repository with a with a add a readme file so the readme file is this is where you can let me zoom so what is readme file this is where you can write a long description for your projects like the inf in depth information about the projects you are working on so now that is git ignore so git ignore is what we use to not add some files from our local machine to the github account so it's what we use not to is what we use to ignore some file so maybe some important file or confidential file <laughs> not to be added onto the JIT when we deploy so another is to choose a license so what does the license mean a license tell others what they can do and cannot do with our code so maybe you know the code is open source but there is still some maybe we have some core code or some core parts that we don't want anyone to edit or to tamper with that's why we choose lenses and it's really like that. okay now this one is because as if it's a marketplace app which is called white spot boots white source boots which detect open source vulnerability in real time we suggest fees for quick recommendation remediation now I won't add a readme file, I would do that by myself. I won't add a git ignore file because there's no file I want to ignore and I won't choose a license. So what I'll just do is to click on create repository. So when I click on create repository, in a, it has created the repository now you can see. So this everyone anyone that go to this my link will be able to see my file but mind you the file is not yet on it yet it's not yet on it why is because i have to add this online to my local so in order for me to add it there's a git command called git remote add origin so origin means that if you add my this origin file to my own local file so that when I, when I push it will synchronize to that so in order for me to do that, I will copy this command or I can just type it. Where is my I will say git remote add origin https slash git.com 
branch my username which is with Kavina, and the name of the project repository which I just created which is called for week programming class so mind you this make sure the spelling is correct and make sure it ends with dot git so dot git is the git file extension that you make it to be recognized so when i do that i'll click on enter so without no error that means it has been added now in order for me now to make sure that all my code here on my machine on my system reflects on GitHub account online. I'll use the command called git push u that you miss upstream origin master. So origin master means I want everything of this on my local to go to the branch master or to go to the master folder to master branch because I currently I'm not creating branch. So now if I press that if you are using that for the first time, it asks you for your to configure your JIT username and password. But because I've configured mine before, that is why it won't ask for that. But it's just it will see see. So it's doing the emulating file, con counting objects, data oppression of compression using blah 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 blah. So now it's not telling me that it's done. See? branch master setup to try remote branch master from origin so now this i can access my file now on this link now if i do control out to refresh i will find out that all my file has been added can you see this we have my capstone project folder we have my css folder we have my html folder we have my javascript folder so do anyone have any question concerning this okay now okay miss class as what's mit license so mit license is type of license whereby you include on your file your project file in order to give some kind of like some kind of restriction or some kind of what user can do on the code do you get that, Mr. Kaya? Are we all following the class? Do you have any questions so far? Hello, do we have any question? So I think nobody is responding. So now let me continue so that I will end up on time and I have to send it. So now we have our capstone project. Every file is here. If I go back. So here is the GitHub repository I just created right now. Here's the link, so you guys can you can clone it, check it out, or you can go through the link, study it, and let me know what you think. Now let's continue. So now we can see that we already have all our folder online, online. So everything is now online. And now see the message you put first initial comment to GitHub, the file code, and certain minutes ago. Now the next one here is to I want to now host this my capstone project online so that whenever I can share anyone the link.
to view my portfolio so in order for me to do that i will click on this setting so as the setting is waiting okay now good so now i will scroll down i'm actually scrolling down scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down okay now cool now we get to this page called GTOP pages so what is GTOP pages GTOP pages is designed to host your personal organization or project file from a GTOP repository so now GTOP pages is for us to host our file online or any of our organization or personal project so now let's now it's not saying source the GTOP page is quite disabled Select the source to enable it. So in order for me to enable it, I'll choose the folder I want to see to to select from. I'll choose master. So in from master, I want it to be the root. And I will save. So now if I scroll down, they will have created a link for me to check it out. So if I click on the link, it will take me to wherever we have. Yeah, so now it's telling us 404 not found because if we check our GitHub repository is in folder. So now for me to know, I now access it. Now let's I want to access the capstone project. I will say GitHub. The name of the link they give us some capstone project. I'll click on it. I see the same thing. Why is the same thing? Because I'm not access the right file, which is HTML slash index dot HTML. So can we all see this? So now I'm not here on my index on my portfolio. Do we all get what I'm doing right now? Do you have any question? Ms. Rukayan, Mr. Marvel. Do Mr. Marvel may look somehow strange to you? Okay, so what's the question, Ms. Rukayan? So I don't want to take much of our time. I want us to win. I want us to be true exactly as nine. So what's the question, Ms. Rukaya? So we clear with see because each and every one of us we host our projects online. So that's why I'm recording it for others that are not in class for them to be able to use it. So now. What's the question so that maybe if anyone other one and asks it they will use it so what's the question man So if you have, you said if I have other repository, how do I connect the? So to do that, just go to your repository. Now let me go back to my GitHub. Just go to your repository. That repository you just you have that you want to connect to GitHub page, and you click on set. Let's say. Let me choose one. Also for this one, this project I create this one. Now let me say I want to use, I want to connect it to GitHub. What I will just use is to come to the setting. On all your repository, you already have the setting. So when you come to setting, just scroll up, and after archive, you will see GitHub pages. 
So that's where you now select it and you work it out. Do you get that, Mr. Krukaya? Okay, cool. Any other question? So, Marvin, do you have any question? Though I was too, I was, is a thing of personal explanation. So, Miruka, do you have any other question? Okay, so are you cool with that? Are you okay? So, does that mean now that all the files we have been working on, can you push it? on github and you send me the link on the whatsapp group can you do that again tomorrow okay yeah that's good then so now also do you understand how to use terminal now Okay, that's good. Then. So, now let, let me see. Okay, so our slide, we are actually true with the slide too. Let me see. So now, are you ready to contribute to open source or open source? Yay or nay? So thank you everyone. So if you have any question let me know. So are we good with that everyone? Are we good? Okay, cool. So now thank you very much for your time tonight. You guys have been awesome. Thank you very much. The other that are not able to join, so the actually the tutorial I will drop. I will make sure I drop it earlier so that I will try by God's grace tonight to drop it so that I be to upload it so that everyone can use it tomorrow and get feedback. You're welcome, man. Thank you so much for your time and see you tomorrow. And also, mm, okay, maybe I don't know. I want everyone to be in class before I actually discuss it. Well, or maybe you guys should just, just maybe to start to bring your own opinion. So I was thinking, like, should we have some kind of a get together graduation ceremony like that, or we should just do it virtually? send our certificates to us so i want to hear our opinion on it do you get that miss rukaya and mr marvel